I was going to be a farmer, <laughs> but my mother said, well, you don't want to be a farmer. She said, why don't you go and try and play cricket? And suddenly, I'm in the same room with all the great England players, you know. Once you'd got the, the three lines on your chest, it was over my dead body, you know, and it was um, for England, and there was no way you were going to let anybody take that away from you. I used to sit at the back of class and stare out the window and pray that, that it wasn't raining. My dad stopped working because of the stroke and then you just think about all the, the struggles you went through. And you only realise how special it is when you step on that field. That's what you dream about, isn't it? I do remember looking down constantly at the three lines, thinking, oh my god, I can't actually believe I'm playing. Well, if it all ends tomorrow, I've, I've played for England. To me, it reminds me of what's gone before. You are trying to make sure you don't let those guys down. I don't want to let anybody down, you know, all your friends, because they'd all been in touch. You're representing those people who are sitting at work listening. I, I was a fan. I am a fan. When I was growing up, I used to get as frustrated as people get with me when I don't bowl straight, as emotional as people get when we win a close game. So I, I know those feelings of excitement, nervousness. And the ground is full. When you cross the line, it's all riding on you. country against theirs and your pride for where you're from and what you stand for. You can obviously feel that support and, and energy from everyone who's you know, desperate for you to do well and live their dreams. So it's not just your cap, it's everyone. You play for everyone.